Hi, Chrissy Green here with another video tutorial for the Photography for Beginners Facebook group. Uh, today's video is uh, a request from one of our members on how to edit out an object from an image. So in this image we have this box, I'm not sure what it is, and they'd like to know how to get rid of that in a way that looks realistic. So this was just my little two minute edit on that. Um, really doesn't take that long at all and I will show how I was able to do that. So the first thing that you want to do if you are not um, super familiar with Photoshop um, is duplicate your layer. That way any changes you make uh, you can get rid of just by deleting the new layer and you'll always have a fresh layer underneath. So to do duplicate just hit control J and that gives you a fresh layer to work on. So what I did first is select the area. Whenever you have a straight line like the side of this signpost is really easy. Um, so I'm going to grab my pen tool uh, right here because this will let me make nice straight selections. And I'm just going to start at the top of the sign pole with a click. And go down to the bottom here. I may as well go all the way down and get rid of these whatever these metal attachments are. So I'll go down as far as here and so I'll just go all the way up to the edge. Nothing major and none of this part is uh, really important but I want to make sure that it at least encompasses what I want to get rid of plus a little extra on the outside so that it kind of blends in a little bit. So then I will right click, make selection. My feather radius is set to 1. If I wanted a crisp razor sharp edge I would put 0. If I wanted a blurry edge I would increase this um, if I were to be editing something that was in the distance and really blurry here, I would want my feather radius to maybe be 3 or 4 or 5 sometimes, and it depends on the image. Um, you know, some images you don't have as many pixels to work with. Um, if I was working on the raw file, I would have loads of pixels, so I might want that feather radius to be a greater number. I'm working on a Facebook image. Uh, download so my pixels are fewer I would want a slightly smaller number uh, for something in the foreground like this one is probably good enough so I will say OK on that and now I have my selection I will grab my clone tool and I'm going to make this bushes on the bottom and just this generic background on the top so I will pick an area alt click and I'm just going to clone this out. You can see I, my selection wasn't far enough away. I'm actually bumping into the box again, but that's no biggie. So I will just clone and keep going. Same down here where these metal bits are. I'll just get rid of them. It's very easy. The reason I made my selection is so that I can be cloning right up against here. And as you can see, my stamp is going over the selection line, but nothing happens when I clone out here this isn't part of my selection. So this is what's going to give me that nice even line. I don't even have to worry about it. Uh, so I'll just neaten up the top of this bush here. I'm just grabbing the top of it from back here just so that uh, it isn't a bush that fades off into nothing. So there's the bush. And then to get rid of the top of this, I'm just going to grab some background here. And I'm selecting from down below on that tree. Just uh, random bits. This isn't the subject of your picture, so as long as you don't have obvious repetition in your image, um, then it should look fine. It's when you're cloning things and you have, uh, you know, the same leaf that repeats. If you look here, this section actually repeats a couple of times, um, which is a dead giveaway for cloning. So what I'll do is I will just randomly sample in and click over the re repeated areas just to hide the fact that uh, it's it's duplicated. Um, I think that actually looks probably fine. So now I will hit Control D to deselect. And there it is. Box is gone. So you have the before and the after. So I hope that helps with your video editing when it comes to removing images. Have a great day and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.